Hi Booktube, Lynette here and today's video is going to be my Kindle TBR. Yes, that's right, I'm going to talk you through all of the books I have on my Kindle that are books that I have never read before in any other format. I do have some books on here as with my physical TBR and my audiobook TBR both of which have already been um, uploaded and are available to view. I will leave them linked in the cards. Um, I'm just going to talk about books that I have never read before. I do have some books that I've read um, in other formats, mostly in paperback, um, and I've excluded them from this list. With the previous videos, I did have a counter going in the top corner to find out just how many books I had. I don't need to do that because of the way I have set up my Kindle. I have a collection which is just the unread books in my TBR that I've never read before. And I can tell you that the total number, because it tells me how many, the total number I have in that collection is 369 books. And I'm going to tell you all of those now. These will all be as I've done with my physical and audible. They will be uh, in order of author surname. Rivals by Ella Adams. Children of Blood and Bone by Tomi Adeyemi. Heart of the Hunter and A Midnight Breed Omnibus, both by Lara Adrian. A Naughty Little Christmas, which is an anthology of Christmas novellas by various authors. Cursed Ever After by Lucy Carter Anderson. Amelia Fang and Friends by Laura Ellen Anderson. A Keeper's Tale, The Story of Tomkin and the Dragon by J.A. Andrews. Turbulent Intentions by Melody Ann. The Dreammakers series by Vivian Arend and L. Kennedy. Three Weddings and a Baby, A Heart Falls Vignette by Vivian Arend. Requiem, Dawn of Dragons. Requiem the Dragon War, Requiem Dragon Law, and Requiem Song of Dragons, all by Daniel Aronson, Obsidian by Jennifer L. Armentrout, A Darkness Absolute by Kelly Armstrong, Adam by Jennifer Ashley, Dark and Deadly, an anthology of slightly darker romances by various authors, Rock Chick Reckoning. Rock Chick Regret, Rock Chick Renegade, Rock Chick Revenge, and Rock Chick Revolution by Kristen Ashley, A Land Divided, Rebellion's Forge, The Warrior Princess, and A Wounded Realm all by K.M. Ashman, Bittersweet, and Mystic Capers both by Grace Augustin, Secondborn by Amy A. Bartol, the Lays of Anuskaya, The Complete Trilogy, and Twelve Kings by Bradley Bewley, The Amulet Thief by Luanne Bennett, Uncivilised by Sawyer Bennett, The Templar Legacy by Steve Berry, Foreverland Boxed by Tony Batowski, Open Road, an anthology of motorcycle romance novels by various authors, The Cruel Prince by Holly Black, the Atlas Six by Olivia Blake, Mr. O, Night After Night, Pretending He's Mine, The Private Rehearsal, Seductive Nights and Joy Delivered, and Strong Suit, all by Lauren Blakely. No One Ever Has Sex on a Tuesday by Tracy Bloom, Promise Me by Barbie Borman, The Curse, Touch of Eternity by Emily Bold. Awakened Dragons, the complete series by Terry Bolroyder. Him by Serena Bowen and Al Kennedy. Tangled Bundle by Leah Brammel. A Ruin of Roses by K.F. Breen. Stranded with the Cyborg by Cara Bristol. A Song of Wraiths and Ruin by Roseanne A. Brown. Going Hard by Kelsey Browning. The Rocker Who Savers Me by Terry Ann Browning. War Brides by Helen Bryan. 
Song of Edmond by Adam Birch. The Dragonblood Collection by Lindsay Baroka. The Perfect Play by J.C. Burton. Tell Me to Stop by Charlotte Bird. Rotherweird by Andrew Caldcott. Fury of Misfortune by Corrine Callahan. The Red Knight by Miles Cameron. The Magician's Guild by Trudy Canavan. Equinox by Christian Cantrell. Love and Hate by Mia Carson. Heatwave by Richard Castle, which is a spin-off of the series, crime fiction series Castle. The Mixtape by Brittany Cherry. Wallbanger by Alice Clayton. Bliss by J.C. Cliff. Dark Needs at Night's Edge by Cresley Cole. The Lies We Tell by S. Cole. Let Love In by Melissa Collins. The Woman in White by Wilkie Collins. The Forever Love box set by J.S. Cooper. Apologies for the slight adjustment in bookshelf view. Um, that was really hurting my back being stood there. So I've just had to um, move things down a little so that I can be sat down instead of stood up. The Phantom Tree by Nicola Cornick. The Last Kingdom by Bernard Cornwell. And The Winter King also by Bernard Cornwell. Quantum by Patricia Cornwell. Painted Faces by L. H. Cosway and Tegan's Blood also by L. H. Cosway Loyalty and Lies by L. A. Cotton Against the Dark by Carolyn Crane Seduced by a Prince by Tanya Ann Crosby Spellscribed Provenance by Christopher Cruz Sinners at the Altar, a series of short novels following on from the Sinner series by Olivia Cunning. Some Like It Hot, an anthology of erotic romance novels, short stories by various authors. My Familiar Stranger by Victoria Danan. The Woodcutter by Kate Danley. The Templar Agenda by John Paul Davis. Charmcaster. Soulbinder and Traitor's Blade, all by Sebastian de Castel. Truth and Humility by J.A. Denham. Minstrel Serenade by Aubrey Dion. All the Light We Cannot See by Anthony Dorr. Cougar's First Christmas. The Dragon's Bidder. The Dragon's Chance. The Dragon's Charge. Dragon's First Christmas. The Dragon's Memory. The Dragon's Need. The Dragon's Weakness, Finding Dragon's Court, Resisting the Cougar, and The Survivor. All of those books were by Jessie Donovan and were across her various series that she has ongoing. Dark Wolf Adrift, Lone Wolf Dawn, and Wolf Landing, all by Amy Easterling. Evil of Love by N. L. Echeverria. Mind to Take by Cynthia Eden Follow You Home by Mark Edwards Angel Fall by Susan E The Darkest Hour by Barbara Erskine The Liar Duology by Leah Fairchild A Crown of Ash and Silver by B.C. Vajon Lightning Sealed by Lila Felix The Enthrall Trilogy by Vanessa Fewings Virtuous by Marie Foss, Blood Laws by Lexi C. Foss, The Heart Family Complete Series by Ella Fox, Dragonfly in Amber, Drums of Autumn, The Fiery Cross, and Voyager, all by Diana Gabaldon, The Protectors Damon by Teresa Gableman, Girl Missing by Kate Gable, the Ocean at the End of the Lane by Neil Gaiman Autumn Thorns by Yasmin Gallanon Unfiltered and Unlawful by Paige Galvin and Ronnie Douglas Dead of Night by Emily Goodwin Glass Tiger by Joe Gores Abraham Lincoln Vampire Hunter by Seth Graham Smith See How She Runs by Michelle Graves River of Shadows by Karina Halley 
Hot Pursuit by Lynn Ray Harris. Hearts Lost by Meredith Hart. Fearless by Devon Hartford. Broken Glass by Alexander Hartung. The Girl on the Train by Paula Hawkins. Invitation to Seduction by Jasmine Haynes. Avenged by an Angel. Captured by her cougar. Spotted by her cougar. Craved by her cougar. Esher. Eternal Love Box Set. Prophecy, Child of Light. Seduced by a Demon King. Tamed by a Tiger. Treasured by a Tiger. Turned by a Tiger. Unchained by a Forbidden Love. Vampire Erotic Theatre Series, Books 1 to 3. Vampire Erotic Theatre Series, Books 4 to 6. And all of those books just listed were all by Felicity Heaton. The Borgias by Christopher Hibbert. The Fireman by Joe Hill. A Glory Days production by Teresa Hissong. Practical Magic by Alice Hoffman. Spellbreaker by Charlie N. Holmberg. The Forever Gate series by Isaac Hook. Wicked Intentions by Elizabeth Hoyt. Not Without Laughter by Langston Hughes. Crazy About Curves, an anthology of short stories uh, by various authors. Uh, the theme behind this is not stick thin female main characters. The Scribe and Shifting Dreams, both by Elizabeth Hunter. Show Me the Way by A.L. Jackson. Captive by Samantha Jacoby. Dark Hunter's Touch by Elsa Jade. Silver Tongue Devil by Lorelei James. Tripped Out also by Lorelei James. A Girl Like Lilac by Victoria L. James. The Ice Fire Trilogy by Patty Jansen. Damsel in Danger by Olivia James. The Fifth Season by N.K. Jemison. Born Sinner by S.L. Jennings. Number 13 by Bella Jewell. Open Play by J.N. Welsh. The Tall, Dark and Dudley series by Lisa Renee Jones. Guns Blazing, an anthology of mafia romance novellas. Midnight Rescue by L. Kennedy. Dead Men Walking by Sherilyn Kenyon. All of Us Villains by Amanda Foody and Christine Lynn Herman. Midnight in Everwood by M. A. Kuznia. Before the Broken Star. The Fire Queen. The Hundredth Queen. And Wings of Fury, all by Emily R. King. The King's Man by Elizabeth Kingston. Marrying Winterbourne by Lisa Claypass. Royal Institute of Magic, Elizabeth's Legacy by Victor Kloss. They Who Fell by Kevin Newper. Once Upon a Kiss, an anthology of fairy tale retellings by various authors. The Alchemist of Loom by Elise Cover. Damaged Hearts Duet by Emily Cratt. Illuminate by Jay Christoph and Amy Kaufman. Mercury Rests. And Mercury Rises by Robert Kreese. Mating Instinct, the complete Ridgeville series by Celia Kyle. Backfire. Ripple Effect. And Soul Redeemed, all of those by Kerry Lake. A Demon and His Witch by Eve Langley. Unmasking Miss Appleby by Emily Larkin. Darkness Forged by Matt Larkin. The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo by Steve Larson. King Raven by Stephen R. Lawhead. And Talisin, also by Stephen R. Lawhead. A Wizard of Earthsea by Ursula K. Le Guin. A Perfect Moment by Becca Lee. Gates of Thread and Stone by Laurie Emily. The Last Librarian by Brant Legg. The Affiliate by K.A. Lind. Athena's Ordeal and Charles Vartimus, both by Sue London. Katrina, The Beginning by Elizabeth Lorraine. Thursdays at Eight by Debbie McComer. One Night Promised by Jodie Ellen Malpass. The Royal Arrangement by Jenna E. Mann. Wolf Hall by Hilary Mantel. 
Rain Falling by Paula Marinaro, Dark Mafia Prince by Annika Martin, Masters at Arms and Nobody's Angel by Calypso Masters, Copper Chain, Enchantress, Golden Age, The Hidden Relic, Iron Will, The Law of the Evermen, The Path of the Storm, and Silver Road, all of those were by James Maxwell across a couple of different series. The Golden Talk, The Many Coloured Land, and The Non-Born King, all by Julian May. Atlantis by Bob Mayer, Beautiful Disaster by Jamie Maguire, The Warrior Trilogy by Don McQuinn, A Curse of Blood and Wolves by Melissa McTurnan, Song of the Forever Reigns by E.J. Mello, Eve of the Fae by E. Menozzi, The Jack of Souls by Stephen Molino, Wolves of the Northern Rift by John Messenger, Keeper of the Lost Cities by Shannon Messenger, Beloved by Corin Michaels, Seduce Me by Ryan Michelle, Silent Victim by Caroline Mitchell, Frostborn Bind Up by Jonathan Muller, Bet Me, Get Lucky, and Wild Card, all by Lila Munro. Sanctuary with Kings by Catherine Moon, The Last Sacrifice by James A. Moore, The Bluest Eye by Toni Morrison, The Secret Keeper by Kate Morton, Sepulchre by Kate Moss, Unchosen, Unrequited, and Unsettled all by Elisa Mullen. The Receptionist by Kate Miles. All He Wants for Christmas, another anthology of Christmas short stories by various authors. The Dragon Slayer's Sword by Risa Nelson. Phantom by Joe Nesbo. Windcatcher by A.J. Norfield. Purge by Sophie Oxanen. 1984 by George Orwell. The State We're In by Adele Parks. <clears throat> The Haunting of Windward Farm by Rebecca Patrick Howard Dare to Love by Carly Phillips Mark of Fire by Richard Phillips Someone to Save You by Paul Pilkington The King's Justice by E. M. Powell On Stranger Tides by Tim Powers Revenge of the Lich by D. P. Pryor Rock With Me by Kristen Proby Abducted by T.R. Reagan. Tempted by the Jaguar by Christina Rain. Let's Do It, the authorised biography of Victoria Woods by Jasper Rees. Two Nights by Kathy Reichs. Cocktails, an anthology of romance short stories by various authors. The Until series by Aurora Rose Reynolds. Too Wicked to Kiss by Erica Ridley. The Seven Sisters by Lucinda Riley. The Blood of Olympus, The Son of Neptune, The House of Hades, The Mark of Athena, the first five books in the Percy Jackson series, and all of those are by Rick Riordan, Lady Bridget's Diary by Maya Rodale, Fate's Demand by Aletha Romig, Holding Out by Lila Rose, Fantastic Beasts, The Crimes of Grindelwald by J.K. Rowling. The Winner's Crime by Marie Rokoski, Redwood Pack Volume 1 and Redwood Pack Volume 2, both by Carrie Ann Ryan, Hitched and the When I Break series, both by Kendall Ryan, Lost in Me by Lexi Ryan, Face the Music by J.B. Salisbury, Robert Michaels, The Demon in the Trees by Ben Sanders, The Final Empire and The Way of Kings, both by Brandon Sanderson, Sword of Destiny, and Time of Contempt, both by Andrei Sapkowski, Obsidian by Sarah J. Daly, The Greatest Risk by Scarlet Cole, Castle of Dusk and Shadows by Rachel L. Shade, The Shadow Sister by Kate Seeger, The Invention of Hugo Cabret by Brian Selznick, Touch by Mark Sennon, Unbeloved by Madeline Sheehan, Teach Me by Ella Sheridan, 
Hidden Figures by Margot Lee Shetterly, The Darkest Pleasure by Gina Showalter, The Dig by Michael Simpson, Dark Desires by Eve Silver, Slave to Sensation by Nalini Singh, Tempt Our Fate by Kat Singleton, Sinners Anonymous by Song Sketcher, Queen Series by Penelope Sky, Cowboy Up, Kiss My Boots, and Lost Rider, all by Harper Sloan. The Vine Witch by Luann G. Smith. Fire Study and Magic Study, both by Maria V. Schneider. Tell Me by Abigail Strom. Fever by Joan Swan. The Curse Keepers by Denise Grover Swank. An Ember in the Ashes by Saba Tahir. Dangerous Protector by Millie Taden. The Bloodline War by Tracy Tapan. Surviving the Evacuation London by Frank Tail. Pathways by Jerry Taylor. Death, Famine and War all by Laura Thalassa. Captivated by Emily Jane Trent. Sam Wu is Not Afraid of Anything by Katie and Kevin Sang. The Good Daughter by Laura Van Rensburg. Only a Monster by Vanessa Len. Her Werewolf Bodyguard by Jodie Vaughan. Evensong by Krista Walsh. The Angel's Share by J.R. Ward. And Consumed by J.R. Ward. Playboy Pilot by Penelope Ward and V. Keeland. The Pawn by Sky Warren. The Grey River Shifters series by Christina Weaver. The Haunting of Bryn Wilder by Wendy Webb, The Killing Fog, The Queen's Poisoner, and The Wretched of Muirwood, all by Jeff Wheeler. The Heart Series by Mary Whitney, Sought by the Alphas by Karina Wilder, Black Horse by A.C. Williams, Crown of Lies by Pepper Winters, Daughter of Time by Sarah Woodbury, Capital Bride by Cynthia Wolfe. Frey by Melissa Wright. Now the next set of books are out of author order, um, but it's because for some reason my Kindle isn't registering the author name when it's picking up the list of books. So apologies that these are not uh, where they should be in the list. The Clan of the Cave Bear by Jean M. Yule. Dracula by Bram Stoker. The Misremembered Man by Christina McKenna. Porn of Prophecy by David Eddings. Providence by Jamie Maguire. And last, but by no means least, Touch of Power by Maria V. Schneider. Wow, that was a marathon. Um, for those who are interested, uh, at this moment in time, that's taken me just under two and a half hours to film all of that. Hopefully it will be far less than that by the time that I've edited out all the pauses in between. Uh, but yes, that's all 369 books that I have never read before uh, that are on my Kindle. Uh, I would really like to make a good dent in those this year. Um, so I'm hoping I can get on with that. There are a lot of those that are first books in series. Um, I don't really need to be starting any more series so if possible I just want to try and continue a series uh, that I already have um, and there are but there are lots of standalone books on there as well um, I'm sure you have noticed the theme of semi-naked men on the cover yes I do like romance if you don't know that then you must be new to the channel uh, but yes I do love a good romance and a naked man on the cover does uh, grab my attention um, I am not a fan of the current trend of um, down playing and, you know, making safe for the bookshelves uh, trend of, of safe book covers um, that's currently going around, um, you know. I, I'm not bothered by people knowing that I read romance. I will put the uh, Naked Men covers on screen, as you've just seen. Um, in some cases, I prefer them to the uh, clean covers. Um, but I get why they do it. It's to make it more attractive to booksellers and 
yeah, I just, you know, Jilly Cooper can do it. Why can't everyone else is my opinion. Uh, Jilly Cooper is a well-known romance author who has been writing books for 30, 40 years now um, and has had naked men on her cover, semi-naked men on her covers from the start. So uh, if she can do it, why can't everyone else? Um, but that's just my opinion on my little rant. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this series of videos. Um, I have, I think, 496 books. At, at the point that I'm filming this, I have 496 books on my uh, TBR list. All books that I have never read before in any format. Um, there are a couple of books that are on my Kindle that I haven't included um, in this list because I've already included them in another format in either the Audible or the um, physical uh, format. Um, so I've excluded them from this. I just have duplicate copies. I just don't know which one I'm going to read. Um, and yeah, uh, I have a good, based on my reading speed, I have a good five years reading. If I didn't buy any more books, I have a good five years reading um, there. Um, yeah, follow my channel to see how I get on. I'm not sure if this is going to be an annual thing. It's been quite a feat to film um, and I did previously film this particular video and my phone threw a hissy fit because of the size of it and the amount of data it was taking up. Um, so you will probably hopefully be seeing this video very soon after I film it this time. Um, I'm going to go and edit it now uh, before my programme start this evening. Um, yeah. Uh, enjoy the rest of your tweenmas um, because this is going up in between Christmas and New Year and uh, yeah I hope you had a good Christmas and I will see you in the New Year for my next video. Bye! Mm -hmm.